So for today, we're going to be looking at a challenge that I gave myself. I haven't been able to keep up with it, mostly because I moved out of my old place, like I said in my update video. If you guys want to see that video, I'll have it in the description below. But yeah, I was just really busy this month. But now that I'm back and have my setup almost there, I will be doing this again and pretty much doing content again, essentially. So for this week, Zer has the Stompies for the Hunters, the Sunbracers for the Warlocks, and for the Titans, they have the Heart of Inmost Light. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, it really does help the channel grow. I appreciate all who do it. And other than that, let's just get started. So this is my Hunter. Obviously, my Hunter is looking very good in my opinion. There's a lot of pieces that I really like about this set. Uh, essentially, the first piece is the Refugee Mask. This one is not that hard to get. This is like one of the whites that you get, one of these right here. This is like one of the ones you get early on in the game. So this one's not going to be too hard to get. The arms and the chest are from the 30th anniversary. So you do have to kill like what, $25, I think, to get this armor piece. I decided to use the arms and the chest piece mostly because they really go together. If I try to put another arms on it, it just looks kind of weird in my opinion. Uh, as you guys can see, like it has that vest thing here and it just looks weird. With the other one though, it just, it looks a little bit better. You can still see the vest thing, but it just, the bagginess of it really lends to, oh, this is one whole set compared to like, if I had put like this one, which no, just complete no. So that's why I'm using both of them. For the legs, obviously we're using stompies. We're using the retreads stompies because I actually think these look like pants, like the best out of all of them. Uh, this one does not look like pants. It looks like uh, like tights. This one also looks like tights. And this one, although cool, I've already used in another set and I just decided not to use that set again. And last but not least, the Renegade Hood is also a white from early in Destiny 2. So the, like the, the helmet and the hood you'll get early on, which Shouldn't be too much of a hard thing to get in the beginning, but this is my hunter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'll go on to my Titan real quick. And for the Titans, we have the bronze carapace for the heart of inmost light. I just think this is really cool. And I'm obviously trying to go for a Vex look. The only unfortunate part is the fact that the armor for the arms and the chest piece are flaky. Like right here, you guys can see there's like, like, I guess, sediment and then here it's most most likely like also sediment that like like just shit on the armor itself and it sucks because like if you're trying to go for like a complete vex look you're definitely gonna want to stay away from this chest piece and the arms uh specifically that whole armor set because that whole armor set like none of it is like good in my opinion for a complete vex look it's very unfortunate because i think i think the armor looks really cool it's just, again, I don't like the fact that they really went in with the whole flaky, like there's rock on it look when like the, the helmet from Vog looks very like complete and clean. Same thing with the, the plasticity or the, yeah, the phenotype plasticity, very clean and crisp in my opinion. So it's, this is not my favorite look, but this is a look that I've always been wanting to do with the bronze carapace because if you want easy mode, you could definitely just do the bronze carapace with all of the uh, of this armor. You could definitely do that, but uh, personally, me, I don't like doing that just because I don't like to do that personally. Like, I don't like to combine just one whole armor set with an exotic because it's pretty simple. Not only that, uh, the only reason I do that is for builds, like specific, like to remind myself, like, oh, this is like my grenade build or, or stuff like that. So. For the helmet, we have the Vog helmet. This is a really cool helmet in my opinion. You could switch this out with the Phenotype Plasticity, which is also a really cool helmet in my opinion. The other one would be the helmet from, from Garden of Salvation. But unfortunately, like I said, it's just, it's just this, all of this sediment. Uh, do be aware that the Titans and Warlocks and Hunters also have a Eververse equivalent of uh, Vex armor, which is, where is it? It's the, 
Omega Mechanos armor set. Each 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 guardian has one of these. You could do this. I just didn't like it, but you could do this if you want. Um so yeah, for the for the arms we're using the Garden of Salvation raid arms. Chest piece, I already said we're using the bronze carapace uh ornament for the heart of inmost light, just because again, the basic bitch one just I'm not a big fan of it and I've never have been. For the boots, we have the phenotype plasticity greaves, which are really cool. I really like these. They're just super dope in my opinion. And last but not least, we're using the Vog uh, Mark, which I love. This is like one of my favorite marks in the game right now. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I apologize that I do not have the Omega uh, Mechanos on any character. I just have it on my Titan, like the arms, because if that were the case, I would probably use like the helmet from that set and then the arm or the I would switch it switch it up if I'm being quite honest. So let's let's go on to the warlock and then I'll have a final thing at the end. And last but not least, we have my warlock, which I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This has no no theme to it. It's more rule of cool at, at this point. I just think that a lot of these pieces just look really cool. So for the helmet, we have the Nemean hood from season of is it this season actually? I think it's this season, yeah. And yeah, it's this season. It's super dope. I definitely love this helmet. Uh, I the only thing I don't like is like the line up here. I think that's whack. Other than that, super dope. Uh, again, I have to use this exotic, the uh, sun bracers. Not that I like have to, because I could definitely use this exotic or this uh, ornament, Eyes of Mercury, which is definitely my favorite ornament for warlocks. But decided to use this one just because I have already done a lot of builds with this one. And this one I, I kind of ne neglect sometimes. For the chess piece, we are using the Curious of the Heads and Lords, which is from Vogue. Definitely one of my favorite ones. Uh, actually, if I'm, yeah, if I'm being serious, uh, this is probably one of my favorite chess pieces for, for the Warlocks. It's just so good. Uh, for the boots, we have the Imperium Cartographer boots, which is another one of my favorites. And last but not least, we have the Tangled Web Bond, which again, one of my favorites. It's This one is just like a compilation of like my favorite pieces that thankfully just look really good together in my opinion. And you could definitely do other things with the arms. You could definitely do something like uh, this or this I've seen people do, which looks really cool. The one that I specifically was thinking about was this one. And I did like it for a bit with, uh, where is it? I did have this built in my head, something like this. But again, I just, that looks really cool like that. Again, I just don't like this chess piece. It's just, it looks fucking terrible in my opinion. So yeah, I decided against that. And I'm happy that I was against that because I like this. I would actually wear this. The shaders also played a luminous, which is uh, from this one. From this season's uh, Vanguard, which I actually was surprised because I don't like to do Vanguard shaders that much. I do have a few builds with it, but uh this shader specifically i've never used and i actually like how it came out she came out really really cool so let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh the thing that i wanted to tell you guys is i'll probably make like an, a full-on video about it Zer is actually in the winding cove and he's actually selling some old armor from season of the drifter again i'll make a video on it but i'll have like what he's selling right now this is very rare like i don't even have it on my warlock because i didn't do that shit on my warlock because i was just like i don't want to do it ever uh damn it so he's selling this armor right here the illicit reaper suit which looks really cool in my opinion so if you guys don't have it definitely scoop it up man but yeah i'll have a video on it literally like right after this one or be or the other way around so be safe and i will see you guys later